Welcome back. I'm Blue Dolphin with the Hoplite Security Channel. And in this video, we're going to be getting into the TriHackMe OpenVast Vulnerability Assessment Scanner Room. Let's get into it. Starting right off and jumping into things here. Heading over to TriHackMe, we're getting into the Open vast room now i don't want to make a video that's so short because task one here is a part of the try hack me lab or room is very short so i'm going to expand on this and just talk about the program a little more and just offer a brief overview of the platform instead of just reading this description and having a two minute video for the write-up that i submit to try hack me and for you the viewer I personally love the OpenVast Vulnerability Assessment Scanner. I use it in a practice lab, and I even use it when I'm doing CTFs, or Hack the Box, or VulnHub, just to help me keep track of different machines, the scanning I've done, and the vulnerabilities that I found, and any notes that I take along the way. And there's two points here, just to clarify. So OpenVast Vulnerability Assessment Scanner is, yes, the scanner itself, but it's found in the Greenbone vulnerability management platform, which is also open source and free. So these are combined together. And if you don't know, OpenVast is actually the continuation of the 2005 Nessus project. So in 2005, Nessus went closed source and some of the developers decided to keep it going in the open source direction and OpenVast was born. At some point down the road, a company named Greenbone bought OpenVast and incorporated it into their vulnerability management platform. Let's jump into the task one introduction here. I'm just gonna quickly read over it. It says, OpenVast, an application used to scan endpoints and web applications to identify and detect vulnerabilities. It is commonly used by corporations as a part of their mitigation solutions to quickly identify any gaps in their production or even development servers or applications. This is not an end-all, be-all solution, but can help to get rid of any common vulnerabilities that may have slipped through the cracks. From the OpenVast GitHub repository, this is the Open Vulnerability Assessment Scanner, OpenVast, of the Greenbone Vulnerability Solution, or GVM for short. It is used for the Greenbone Security Manager appliances and is a full-featured scan engine that executes a continuously updated and extended feed of network vulnerability tests or NVTs. So obviously task one is very short. I'm gonna expand a little and just show off what the platform looks like. Now what I've done here is I've actually fired up the DVM DAM, DAM vulnerable web application and I've run a scan against that. At the top here, you'll see we have all of our sections within GVM. Let's start with dashboards, pretty straightforward. We have our dashboards and all the ways we can aggregate and visualize our data. So we have our different displays based on security assets, scans, very cool stuff. Jumping over to the scans tab, where you see tasks. Tasks are actually how you run a scan. So a task is indeed a scan. Reports are gonna be just of course the report of the scan and the results are going to be what it found and some details and the vulnerabilities is going to be just diving in more on the actual vulnerabilities than the results. Then down here we have notes and override options. Moving over, we have assets where we can view the host that we found from our scans, the operating systems, TLS certificates, very cool. Moving over to the resilience tab. I really like this tab and I think it's super important and underrated because it has the feature of remediation tickets. This actually lets you cut a remediation ticket. So if we've done a scan, we can actually take our vulnerability and send it over as a remediation. The way we would do this is just by clicking on a vulnerability, diving into the details, and then over here we would say create new ticket. And this would be, you know, I'm going to sign it to user Kali and I'll call this a remediation tracking. And we would click save. We jump over to resilience remediation ticket. And you can see here, we now have a remediation ticket for the weak key exchange KEX algorithms, supported SSH, and it even kind of gives us a suggestion of what type of solution type we need to implement. 
So if we hover the mouse over, it says mitigation is how we will deal with this. So very cool. But jumping back over to resilience tab here, you can see that we also have the compliance policies. This is very neat. We can open this up and learn about the different compliance policies or import ones. We have compliance audits we can import as well. And then a business process map, which I haven't really tested with other than when I'm on an engagement, I might use this to visually map my environment and add some notes over here to help me just get an idea for what's going on, what I've done, what I've looked at, what I haven't. And you can just add connectors to different nodes to help you kind of keep track of everything if you wanted to play around in here and you can create processes as well. All right, jumping over to the SEC info tab, this is a really cool feature. These are all the feeds. And if you don't know, feeds are where the scanner gets all the information from to learn and to know and have the knowledge about what's gonna be vulnerable and what's not. So we have our MVTs, so network vulnerabilities, our CVEs, common vulnerabilities. Then we have our CPEs, our OVAL definitions, our CERT bund advisories, DFN CERT advisories. And just to quickly touch on each of these. So again, NVTs, network vulnerabilities. If we come down to our CPEs, these are, this is common platform enumeration. So it's just helping us find our versions of software. Then we have our OVAL definitions, which are the open vulnerability and assessment language which is a international uh, protocol within the security community as a way to promote uh, and publicly publish available security content in a standardized way that can be transferred across different platforms and universally understood. Then we have the CERT bund advisories. These are cybersecurity and infrastructure agency provided advisories. And then we have DFN CERT advisories, which are kind of like the CERT bund advisories, but instead of it being the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, it's the European version. All right, jumping over to the configurations, just quickly touching on this, we have targets. So if you want to do a scan, you enter a target, either your host, your subnet, you have port lists, you can say I want to do TCP, UDP, I want to do all 65,000 ports, maybe just a couple. Again, credentials, credentials are going to be key. So when we are doing vulnerability assessments, it's not just enough to do a vulnerability assessment from the outside, but we also need one from the inside because perhaps today you do a vulnerability scan and realize a machine is totally impenetrable from the outside. There's no vulnerabilities, but at some point there will be as patch cycles come around, new version software are released and you want to look on the inside of that host to find just basic things like privilege escalation vulnerabilities, the ability to shut down your EDR agent, the ability to establish a backdoor or a web shell. All right, that's where the credentials are gonna come in for those internal enumeration techniques. Jumping over, we have scan config, so you can get into the nitty gritty of your scans. Alerts, so if alerts are gonna be very helpful if you have automated scanning in place, you can have them alert you on certain types of criteria. Schedules, that's pretty obvious. Report formats, so Word, um, Microsoft Excel, PDF, so on and so forth. Then you have scanners, which you have your CV and your OpenVAS scanner. And I just want to clarify the brand new notice vulnerability scanner is by default included in the OpenVAS scanner. If you don't know what that is, just look it up, but it's just a more efficient way of doing local security checks on Linux machines. Um, jumping over, we have filters and tags. So again, just kind of organization. Now moving over to the administration tab, this is really cool because you can actually, if you are in an enterprise environment, you can actually set this up to authenticate with your domain controller, which is super cool. But then we also have, of course, user and access management, privilege access management, role-based access management with our users, groups, roles, permissions tab. You have a performance tab and then your feed status. And again, the feed status is everything we kind of talked about just earlier there. And then you have the help section. And I just want to point out something that's cool here. I know we probably often overlook the help section, but you actually have a CVS score calculator, which I think is pretty cool to go through. All right, other than that, that's gonna be a wrap for task one of the OpenVAS vulnerability assessment scanner. See everyone in task two.